guys. Hi. It's Ed. Here for episode three, season one. Woo! What are we gonna be talking about today? We're gonna cover some Olympic drama. Maybe you have heard of it. For sure. And we're gonna give you some tips for college. And we're gonna be updating you on all of our new locations that we're opening. Yeah. Some exciting stuff, guys. We and, can't wait. Yeah. So let's start out right away. Let's just do a quick recap of what oh, we've yeah. been up to. Okay. Well, we posted some stuff on Instagram. Yeah, thank you all for your continued support. You're really loving it. And we're loving that you love it. Yeah, we just love the constant support from our fans. We love you forever and always. Forever and always. <laughs> so let's get to it right away. Let's start talking about Ryan Lochte. Sorry, Lion, guys. Bang, Lion, bang, bang. Yeah. Lion Rochte. Lion, Lion crooked <laughs> Ryan Lochte. Yeah. Cro wow. Crooked he is just Lion a Lion Lochte. <laughs> Crazy liar. <laughs> Crazy liar. But in his, okay, so guys, we're gonna tell you what Ryan Lochte did. He okay. lied. Yeah, apparently he was having a little tussle with his girlfriend about like why he was out so late or something. And to get out of the argument, he told her that the reason he was out was because he, or late, was because he was robbed at gunpoint. In Brazil. By oh. robbers who were dressed as Brazilian police officers. Total mm -hmm. lie. Yeah. Who knew that Brazil had the technology to call him out on his bluff because yeah. security cameras caught him supposedly after the act with his wallet that he said was stolen and all smiley, which is not how you act after you have you know such what? a dangerous he's, thing happen to you. He's now in the United States. The two other guys that was with him, also Olympic swimmers, are now in custody right now by the Brazilian government getting investigated while Ryan Lochte is here just probably swimming in his pool in the US. Mm -hmm. So he's free, but his other two buddies are not. So. Shame on Ryan Lochte, but yeah. it's a super bad energy around the whole US team, even though we're just winning medals left and right. And it's not like his story didn't line up with all the other instances that were happening. I mean, the Australian rowing coaches were robbed, as we mentioned in our other video. Yeah, yeah, like we can't deny that where the Olympics are in Rio, that there's a lot of bad problems going on in the city with robberies and things like that. But to shadow on that, Ryan, how disrespectful of him being such yeah. a highly respected Olympian we, to do such a thing. We can't even... Yeah, slap on the wrist, Ryan. Lion Ryan. Lion Ryan Lochte. We are disgusted with you. <laughs> we can't believe what he has done for the U.S. in general. But let's go back to what we've been doing through this week. We gave you some looks for less. You guys oh, yeah, have we been loving Fleet it. Farm. Fleet Farm. All of these beautiful oversized pieces for only like $7.99. We know it's what you want. Cut the sleeves, don't wear pants, put your Burks on. Super cool look yeah, for less. Super runway looks for less. Yeah, and we got Dane up in a Walmart blazer, <laughs> yeah. which really pulled his entire look together. Yeah, I was already wearing black shorts with a, um, shoot, a suede polo. And then what better else is an oversized black Yeah, we got coat. him in a, like a, what? 2XL, it was just, he was drowning in it, but it was the look, and yeah. Walmart looks for less. Entire look under $30, guys. Yeah, so that was fun. It's always fun just to kind of go out in the community and explore. Yeah, and we love that you're constantly watching us. For sure. And then um, we also were both in Madison and Milwaukee this week preparing our opening, opening of our two other Opening up our location. headquarters. So um, earlier this week I was in Milwaukee. I think we mentioned that in the last thing, but... I'm going to be there by the end of the month, full time there. And I actually moved to Madison tomorrow, guys. And by the time you're watching it, I'll be there. So can't wait. We were there um, over this past Sunday and Monday and we were moving in and everything, getting everything settled. Yeah. It's so much fun. And we can't wait for you guys to see our new locations. We're going to start doing cooking segments, getting you ready for back to school, getting you ready for some easy college recipes. We can't wait to share fun stuff. And my favorite time of the year is coming, fall. I love fall. Yeah, Dane like, just got some pretty cool Halloween decorations. Oh yeah, we went to TJ Maxx today. Love TJ. Love TJ, Dane loves his TJ. Love it. And then, <laughs> yeah, we got some Halloween decorations for our headquarters. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. Get me in the spirit. I know it's August, whatever. And we are going to be selling tickets soon for our Ed Haunted House. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're going to be doing a haunted house. Yes. Hay bales. We're thinking a budget of around, I don't know, we don't have to tell you that, but yeah. <laughs> it's going to be big, it's going to be huge, and we can't and wait. And it's going to be at Freak Fest during Madison, so when you're going down to the Capitol for the summer, yeah. for, excuse me, Freak Fest, 
looking for the music, drop by. We're going to have our haunted house. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we're going to have our merch there for you guys to buy. Can't wait. Yes. But now, our next segment, we're going to be talking about... Back to college advice. We have a special guest with us today. Her name's Shannon. Shannon, come on down. Get over here. Shannon. We love Shannon. She's a very close friend with us, has been for the last couple of years. Come on, Shannon. Hi. Hi. Hey, Shannon. I'm so glad to wiggle you in here. Hi. Yeah. Thank Shannon, you for coming. Shannon will be attending Vanderbilt in Tennessee in the fall. <laughs> Super exciting for this girl over here. Ivy League. But since she is going to be a freshman, she has some questions for us now that we're going into our second year of college. So, so what do you think, Shannon? Yeah, what do you want to know? Anything is on the table. Well, I don't want to go in being naive, and I do have a lot of questions. I'd like to start first with a roommate. I've never had to live or share room with anyone. Okay, great question. Thank you for asking. First of all, we want you to have an open relationship with your roommate and just set up a, like a groundwork for, for sure. what is going to be acceptable within the comp. Rules and regulations are required when having a roommate. I think you need to set up baselines, guidelines, everything. What side is yours? What side is theirs? Cleaning schedules, showering schedules, everything like that. What's mine? What's yours? Food, if you like to share, if you don't like to share, you need to set all that out on the floor right away. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, like your first few nights, just get out a bottle of wine and just... Tear it. You yeah. need to get to know each other right yeah, away, Yeah, you need too. to know the deepest depths of their brain well before you start. And they might be a little weird right off the bat, but I'm for sure, since it is your first year of college, you two are going to be this close together forever for that entire year. You have to be, or else it's going to be a living nightmare. I mean, Taco I know, Taco! I know way too <laughs> many people who didn't have a good relationship with their roommate, and they just didn't say anything no good morning no hello no what were you doing no where were you no so watching just, netflix together yeah no cuddling yeah yeah and i mean what are you looking forward to to doing yeah, with what? your roommate i just want a friend who's there for me but not too close of a friend because i've heard that if you're best friends with your roommate then you could run into trouble okay interesting um yeah, I mean, if it's just you and your roommate against the world, so God, if you want to do that, yeah. do it. But it does help to have a grand, greater support group than just your roommate. Yeah, I can see there. how you guys would create negative attention from it just being you two. Yeah, yeah go out like in your dormitory and campus. Don't just stay with your roommate. Go mm -hmm. find other people. But be super close still. Mm -hmm. yeah. I do have another question. It's about trying to stay healthy in college. I'm not sure how to do that because I know there's the dining hall and so much food that's just Ooh, at my yummy disposal. Food. Yummy, yummy food. Yummy country fried steak. That's your calories for the next two yeah, weeks. Yeah, um, big Don't old bowl of mac and cheese with fried chicken. Mm. So good. But yeah, um, healthy, everyone's worried about getting that freshman 15. Um, don't listen to me because I sure got that freshman 15. Stop. <laughs> it does not show. Oh, he thanks. looks great. <laughs> <laughs> but um, honestly, make sure you get your routine out food-wise. Yeah. And your health is here to help. Honestly, guys, do a lot of your own grocery shopping. You have your mini fridge, which I know is not a lot of space, but just get a big tub of lettuce. Yes, lettuce is super Organic good. spring green mix. And then keep your dressings and stuff and maybe go down to the food hall and get like your protein, a piece of meat or yeah, something. Yeah, alternate between meals like homemade little meal and then if you want to splurge once in a while, go to your dining hall. And there's hall. always a salad bar too, but I know that's not as fun. As getting a big old tenderloin. And honestly, every... <laughs> a tenderloin. Every, yeah. <laughs> every college is going to have a workout space for you guys. It can be int intimidating sometimes because the athletes of that school are probably also working out there, getting prepped for whatever they're mm -hmm. playing and whatnot. But don't be scared. Go do it yourself. Put your headphones in and just run away. And if you need on to the put, yeah, <laughs> look the other way. Yeah. If you need to walk, alternate between sloppily running and walking for 3.5 miles. Applause for you, like you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shannon, do you have any more questions? Yeah, I was wondering how to make friends and any good conversation starter tips. Hmm, yeah, making friends is super important in college because 
the first few days, everyone is just up in the air about who's going to be their friend group. But like in Everyone's any other super nervous too. In any other like in any other life situation, like after the first three weeks, people start getting settled and they just accept what they have. So it's really important to make those friends fast because yeah. you might not have any other opportunities. And the, your first real friend will probably be your roommate. Mm -hmm. That's going to be your first like somebody that you get to know to kind of help you walk around campus with, get to know everybody, everything around. But then after that, really explore your floor, your classes, everything. Don't um, subtract anybody out because you never know who you're going to meet. Yeah, and a great conversation starter is do not be afraid to multiply your own personality by 45. You need to be bubbly, you need to be outgoing, you For cannot sure. be afraid to make the first contact. And nothing is better in today's day and age than a firm grasp, eye contact, and hi, my name is Shani Girl. Implement your new nickname that you gave yourself, your new alter ego for college. For sure. So let's practice. Hi, my name is Dane. Shandy girl, nice to meet you. Yeah, I, I hope we can see each other more around campus. Me as well. Kiss already. <laughs> I think Shannon's getting the hang of it, and you're going to have a lot of friends in no time. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I so. <laughs> so, um, All right. oh. so is there any other questions you have for us, Shannon? Yeah, um, hookups. I know I'm gonna go oh. there. <laughs> Juicy wow. topic, but Juicy. Um, Juicy indeed. I see it all over the media, the movies. What kind of smut are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. We you know, know the teen ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, we get it. How like movies portray like college scenes. And yeah, movies, so. and I just want to know if that's really what it's like. Um. Yeah. Yes and no. Sin is everywhere on the college campus of Shannon. You cannot be too safe. Let's all practice here saying no. Because it's okay to say no if you're not comfortable with it. You do not need to go into college expecting. But, and you need to learn how to say no for every situation. For if you don't want to do any drugs, alcohol, sex, all that stuff. My so, name is No. I hate that song, but I guess that's a good... <laughs> No, it's a no, good no. pre like going out song so it stays in your head. Yep. Right? Yeah, if you want to be that little like Bible thumper girl that just sits around and doesn't yeah. want to do anything. Or you can be a harlot and that's okay. You just need to use protection. <laughs> <laughs> what types are there? Um, I guess we could start with condoms. Birth control. Diaphragms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but and abstinence. Acidens. Mm, oh, I don't know if that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> you stop that. Kidding. She's too much. She's too much. <laughs> but at Vanderbilt, she might be. Yeah, at Vanderbilt, we don't. You don't know what you're gonna encounter, Shani. But with our methods for saying no, I think you're gonna be on the right track. But if you don't want to say no, that's okay too. Just make sure that you have a buddy system, and that's why it's so important to be have a close support group. Have your roommate have a buddy system people to watch out for and i know it's a little controversial but if you do decide to hook up with someone you need to make sure like scope out their room area all bases need to be covered yeah you need to make sure that there's not a little cereal box up on the <laughs> entertainment system because unfortunately if it is consensual it's okay for them to reproduce your act and you on could the be video camera. on the video camera and you wouldn't want to become a porn star. I know that's not for Shannon. No, that's not the life I'm choosing. I am going to an Ivy League school. Yeah, that's not the look that you've chosen, but we respect all sex workers, oh, yeah, of for course. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but... Any other questions, Shannon? Drugs and alcohol. What's oh. out there? What's it really like? Everything. To be honest with you, you're going to go to a party and you're going to see everything. You're going to see the alcohol, you're going to see the drugs, and you're going to see the sex. That's oh, <laughs> <laughs> or you like your best bet, Shani, just stay in that room. No, <laughs> if you don't want to make any friends. Yeah, but if you do decide to hook up with someone, like you need to be on the same tr like tr like mind level as your roommate. Like you need to be courteous and for everything. Bed Bath and Beyond has a little privacy tent that you can just zip yourself up in, and that's gonna you know, make it a lot, like it's gonna give you the visual privacy that you do crave. That sounds like a really But don't put it vibe. on the loft, cause you will fall and hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah.
But yes. otherwise, for drugs and alcohol, you're going to see it. If you want to try it, Ken, college is all about experimenting. Yeah. But like we said, if you don't want to and if you're uncomfortable with the people you're with or just the situation, just say no. Just say no. One, two, three. No. no. Yes. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. And I think Shannon's got it. Can we have time for one more question? I suppose. Yeah, go ahead, Anything Shannon. For Anything. You. It's a racy one. Ooh. I didn't think you could get much more racy than the other two. Yeah, whatever. Gasp. Go ahead, Shannon. Here what goes. is it going to be? Okay, so I've learned how to say no successfully. Now I got a question. What if I do want to bet a man? How do I say yes without coming on too strong? Well, what you just said there came a little too strong, Shannon. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say mount. <laughs> okay. She didn't want to say mount. Adorable. <laughs> but Shannon. To say yes, I'm guessing the person that you're going to be with is going to want to probably do the same thing. So it's going to have to be consensual and just go with it, you know? Just say, okay. Yeah. Just make sure that you can harbor him in a safe environment. Make sure that you get the little pop-up bed from Bed Bath & Beyond so you get that visual privacy. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he's an upperclassman who has his own room in his house, or maybe there's a room available at the party that you're at. Jackpot. Jackpot would be right. Yeah, okay. But Shannon, you also need to be in the right mindset. Don't be like influenced by any drugs or alcohol, because that usually Too leads to yeah. very unsafe things and for both parties. Yeah, but have fun. Okay. Make sure you're in love, JK. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Shannon. This okay. was fun. It was fun. We, we love, love you. We love all that you've brought to the table. Your fun, quirky little questions. We're going to be seeing a lot of Shannon in the future. Yeah, she's going to do great at Vanderbilt this fall. We congratulate we you getting so into that. We are so proud of her getting into Vanderbilt. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so proud of you guys. All the success in such little time. Stop You're blushing. We knew though. Stop it. Okay. Thank Thanks, you so Shannon. much for you having me. Night. I'm so honored. Okay. Love you. Bye, Dave. Bye, Emily. Bye, Shannon. Bye, Ed. Oh my Bye. God. Ciao. <laughs> Okay, guys, that just about wraps up all the time that we have today. So, oh, thank you guys. We love our support. Continue to like, follow, share, anything. Share, share, comment. share, comment, comment, comment. Bye -bye. We love you. Good night. We have got quite the episode.